good morning everyone in today's video i will be explaining to you about introduction to fuzzy logic so what is fuzzy logic fuzzy logic refers to things that are not clear or vague so fuzzy means it is fuzziness so fuzzy logic it refers to things that are not clear or vague okay so any event if you take if it is changing continuously so any event or function if it is changing continuously we cannot able to define either it is true or false so we cannot able to conclude we cannot come to a conclusion whether it is true or false such activity we can able to solve it by fuzzy logic so we can able to solve such problems using fuzzy logic so what is fuzzy logic fuzzy means fuzziness so if a problem is is not clear or if it is vague or if it is not precise or ambiguous then we can able to solve that problems using fuzzy logic so i can tell you one more example like any event if it is changing continuously we cannot come to a conclusion whether it is true or false or we cannot conclude anything then we can solve those problems using fuzzy logic okay so fuzzy logic it resembles fuzzy logic it resembles human decision making methodology so how human thinks so we are going to solve the problems using human decision making methodology in fuzzy logic okay so it deals with vague and imprecise information as i have told you like if the information is imprecise if the information is incomplete then we can able to easily solve those problems using fuzzy logic okay now let me tell you the difference between two logic so we know there are two logic available one is the previous existing logic is boolean logic okay it is called as boolean logic or otherwise we can call it as crisp logic okay so this is the logic which was existing like mathematical all mathematical functions we will be solving it using boolean logic one more logic which came into existence is fuzzy logic so now i'll tell you the difference between boolean logic and fuzzy logic coming to this difference the first difference is boolean logic it will have only single value so we can say it is single value logic which can either it can be 0 or 1 0 or 1 or it can be true or false okay or it can be yes or no you can give any names to the values it is a single value logic either it can be 0 or 1 it, it can be true or false or it can be yes or no coming to this fuzzy logic it is a multi valued logic so it will also have the values between 0 and 1 but it will not have two values it will not have single value like 0 or 1 it can be 0 0.2 0.4 0.5 any values between 0 and 1 so it is multi valued logic next coming to the second difference so here it deals with all precise values so if the problem is precise if the problem contains all everything is correct then we can solve it using boolean logic so the problem if it is precise then we can solve it using boolean logic coming to this fuzzy logic if the problem is approximate okay if we can't solve it by using boolean logic then we can solve it by fuzzy logic so it deals with all approximate values and third one so here it will have all sharp distinction so since it is very crisp the name itself it is crisp logic so it will have a sharp boundaries so it uses sharp distinction to solve the problems but here it will use approximate values 
it is approximate it uses how the people thinks okay so the next is coming to the diagram here it will be suppose you are having a value 0 here and 1 so either it will be 0 or otherwise 1 this is your boolean logic okay you will have the values 0 or otherwise these all the values between 1 but coming to the fuzzy logic it can take a value between 0 and 1 that is like it can take 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 any values it can take from 0 and 1 that is fuzzy logic. Let me explain this fuzzy logic in detail. Coming to this example first let me explain this boolean logic. So coming to this boolean logic for example I am having this I am taking this example like is Sanjay tall? Is Sanjay is tall? Okay, so if you are asking for a person to our parents is Sanjay tall, so the parents is giving you the answer either true or it may be 1 or it may be yes. Okay, or it here false, no, 0 or no. Everything is same over here. So either he can give true or false, 1 or 0, and yes or no. It contains only two values, either 1 or 0. So this type of problems are called as Boolean logic. So you are giving to, you are going to give only one answer, either 1 or 0. That, that example, those examples are called as Boolean logic, okay. Now you are going to ask the same question to any other person, is Sanjay tall? So, he cannot able to give you the correct answer. In that way, he can tell that he may be tall, he may be medium or he may be short or he may be very short. So, there are so many answers over here. So, he, we will classify into four types, tall, medium, short and very short. So, we will give the values for this. Short is represented by the value 0, 0.0. And for this very short, so for the short I am giving a value called 0 0.4 and for the medium I am giving 0 0.8 and for the tall I am giving the value 1. So for example, if the person height is less than 3.9 feet, okay, I am I am classifying it as very short, okay, I am giving a value 0 0.0. If the person's height is 3.9 to 4.5, Okay, 3.9 to 4.5 feet, I am classifying him as short person and I am giving a value 0.4. And if the person's height is between 4.5 to 5.55 feet, then I am classifying him as medium person and I am giving a value called 0.8. If the person is above 5.5 feet, then I am classifying him as tall person. So here you can see I don't have only one value 0 or 1 I am having multiple values over here. I can give them numbers different values between 0 and 1 based on these variables. So I can call these variables tall, medium, short, very short. All these variables are called as linguistic variables. Okay, these variables are called as linguistic variables in fuzzy logic. So, how you are going to solve the problem? If you can't able to tell the correct answer, then you are going to classifying this, classifying the variables into different categories. Then I am going to give the values for them. So, this solving by this manner is called as fuzzy logic. Okay, so fuzzy logic was invented by Lord Fee Age Zade in 1965 at University of California so he is the first he is a person who invented fuzzy logic okay so why we are going for this fuzzy logic so for example let me tell you an example if a person's age is 25 for some people the age 25 is feels like he is young okay for some others the age 35 they will classify him as younger. Okay. So, we cannot able to conclude that the clear boundaries for young, young people, young age. So, this conclusion, this type of problems, we can solve it by using this fuzzy logic. So, what we can do is in real world problem if you take, 
so in real world problems all the problems are not accurate so we cannot solve it by using boolean logic there exists uncertainty in the problems okay uncertainty and there is also ambiguity arises so we cannot it is not clear and it is very vague also so in those types of problems what we can do is we can derive it using fuzzy logic so we it will have a vague data it is imprecise imprecision and vague data exist okay so all these problems we can solve it by using fuzzy logic okay so we can solve it by fuzzy logic and we can derive a conclusion for this we can make a decision that is why we so many researchers they are using fuzzy logic in their problem so in real world problems all the problems are uncertain and there exist ambiguity so in those problem you cannot solve it using boolean logic because it is very imprecise and it is very vague also those problems you can solve it by fuzzy logic and you can derive some conclusion for that so this logic is called as fuzzy logic so in this video i have clearly explained to you what is fuzzy logic introduction about fuzzy logic the next video i'll be explaining to you about on classical set and that is another way otherwise called as crisp set and fuzzy set okay thank you all for watching